all right great so quick um quickly let's create another middleware for check moderate i'll call it check moderator moderator enter it is created so we go to check moderator and perform our magic this is check admin we'll just copy what we have here and um go to check moderator paste it at the top of this place and check if the anything a moderator can access yeah, an admin can access it so we want to make sure that admins and moderators can access these routes so that's why we are checking if your role id is less than two or less than three all right so you have no permission to do this okay cool perfect all right now we're going to have to go and add it in our kernel so minimize this look at kernel.php inside http we click on it at the bottom here we'll duplicate this line Control C, Control V, duplicate the line. We'll craft a name, any name we want to call it. For me, just for simplicity, I'll call it Check Moderator. And then uh, we're going to have to go copy the class name. Look at the class name here. Check Moderator. We'll copy it and paste it here. So this will help us check if the user is either an admin or moderator, which means we can go. Uh, we can now go add it in our routes. So let's go to a route that is called um, that is on our routes web.php. So we now know only admins can access this. Only admins can access this. Access this. Beautiful. Let us look at something else like um, users. Anything that has to do with uh, not everything in users. We need to take care of. Uh, let me show you. In users we don't want people to be able to access index that is users we don't want this URL that is the list of all users no nobody should be able to see the list of all users unless they are a moderator or an admin period so let's check it out um, maybe the other things moderators and admin can access so we created a this route group um, let's put a comment only moderators so the reason why I'm putting the, it inside this auth is that first of all the person has to be logged in that is sorted. so let's do check moderator so check moderator can only ac can access only moderators can access route resource not resource route get users at oh sorry user controller at index so this particular route forget it um, I'm gonna call it um, user dot um, index name user dot index also um do I remember I think it's users we have to go and find out whether the default is users so to find out we have to go to laravel documentation and uh, look for resource routes resource resource um, resource uh, get resources eloquent api resources is it controller i think it's controller that we should deal with um we're looking for controller and um, there it is so on under controllers you see resource controllers you click on it opens a section of the page um, resource controllers so if you come here you see that get photos it's here yeah, photos.index this is an example so if the default index page is um, the name is index so this one should be users.index so we don't want somebody to be able to see all users unless they are an admin or a moderator that's that's the period so let's go and try it out and see how that works out so we get back to our application and I'm a moderator so I have to change my profile first let me make myself a normal user or a buyer so here I can um, 
change my status to 4, my role ID to 4, then I can go back and uh, try to access all users. Let me click on this. Class middleware auth not found, really. That means there is a problem somewhere. Okay, yeah, we're logged out. That's why we're seeing this error. We're logged out. Oh, yeah, we're not logged out, but we didn't import it. We never imported it. Look at our inside this middleware file. We didn't import it, so we forgot. So we have to go back to the middleware check moderator. We used auth and we used flash. We need to import it at the top. Use flash. Use auth. Cool. So now we have it. We can refresh now. Users. Um, okay, we, it brought us here for a reason because um, if we look at the web.php file, see that it sorts out the user's routes first. Once it's, this user's route involves all these things we saw here. So once you have a resource in Laravel attached to a route, that means it's a combination of many routes inside one. Look at all the routes that are inside that one resource. Alright? So inside that one resource, there is users slash users already there. So Laravel is running this um, Laravel is running this um, file. Comes here, sees that user.index, it executes it even before it gets to this place. So we need to put it underneath below this. All right. So it checks and give throws the error before it it gets here. So we can try and refresh the page. And that works for a reason. The reason we have is that the code we wrote in the here is wrong. Look at what we're checking for. We're saying if the person is a moderator and admin through an error, no. We should say if the person is not, that is if it's above two. So somebody's trying to access a URL and we're checking if they are if they are not an admin or a moderator, then we have to throw an error. You see? So let's go and check it out. I try to refresh, trying to access the users. And of course, um, we can go back and readjust what we had. Um, bring this one up. Refresh. So now we have the error. All right, perfectly. We finally got it perfectly. So just a quick few seconds run through of what we had. A uh, executes this. Um, Gets here sees the, the instruction that only moderators can execute the problem, the the um, route, and then um, it goes to check this middleware what is inside. Goes to the middleware, sees that um, you are not an, a moderator and you're not an admin, therefore it throws this error. Now, um, I've noticed in different versions of Laravel that you have to put this below this or vice versa. So, check the one that works for your own version and use it. So, for this is 5.6. Laravel, which means um, you have to put this below the resource. So either way, it just works perfectly. See you in the next video.